Hello, we are doing um, an SN2 reaction synthesis of 1-bromobutane. And I hope you can hear me all right. I don't have my uh, microphone, so I'm just kind of shouting at the computer. So hopefully you've read the introduction. We are going to be using the second um, preparation method in the introduction. So um, I've already kind of started. I've already added 12 grams of sodium bromide into this flask. And I've added 12 mils of water. Um, oh, I forgot to add the boiling chip. Let's do that. All right, so here are the boiling chips. I'm gonna add maybe two to it just to be sure. All right, and um, I've stirred it. All of the sodium bromide has dissolved. Now I'm gonna add 10 milliliters of one butanol. So here's the one butanol. I've already measured it out. Here's one butanol. I already measured out 10 milliliters exactly. And I'm gonna pour it into Flask. So in this reaction, we're going to take one um, brom one butanol, and it's going to be convert converted to one bromobutane. So um, this is an SN2 reaction. All right. So now I've added the 10 milliliters, and let me let me stir it a little bit. It's hard to stir. Some people have like a a stir bar put into here and um, let me just make sure and give it a little mix, make sure it's all, all mixed well. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm putting it into an ice bath. And the reason why is because this, um, I'm gonna add sulfuric acid this is a pretty exothermic reaction when I add these together, and so we want to make sure that um, it doesn't get too hot. So I've already, you may be able to see here, I've already been cooling some, um, ten, let's see, 11 mils of concentrated sulfuric acid. I've already been cooling it down in its own um, ice bath, and now I'm going to slowly add it to my, um, to my flask over a few minutes. So I'll just pour a little bit in. It's bubbling. <laughs> so it's very exothermic. Um, I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna pause this while I continue to do that. All right, so I've added all the sulfuric acid. Um, you may or may not be able to tell, but there's actually two layers there. So we're gonna swirl it a little bit but that's all right because we're going to reflux it. We're going to boil it together. So it says, um, after the addition is complete, remove the round bottom flask from the ice bath, fit it with a heating mantle. So let's see. So I've got it, um, I've got it clamped. Um, in case you hadn't seen this before, this is a universal clamp, which is really nice because you can you can move it to the left, to the right, you can move it back and forward, you can move it up and down, you can do a whole lot of things with it. So what I have here, and let me turn my water on, up here, let's show the camera. This is, um, you know, it's a condenser. Whoops, water's going everywhere. It's a condenser like we use in distillation, but this time it's going to be, let me move it down. We're going to fit it in here. Clamp that tight. Um, so let me move my camera down. And so now what's gonna happen, I'm going to go ahead and heat this. I'm gonna boil it. Um, for 45 minutes actually. And what's gonna happen when it boils, the vapor will come up into 
the um, condenser and then what will it do? It will condense back down. So this way none of it will escape during the boiling because uh, we couldn't really have a stopper on there while it's boiling because there'd be too much pressure. So this way it can boil openly in the open atmosphere, but it'll get up somewhere up here, it'll condense back down and we won't lose any. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my, get my, get my, um, my heating mantle in here so let's see I can show you that so that's my heating mantle I'm gonna have to move this whole contraption down so this unclamp both of these I know, you, I know you love seeing my arm so there we go I moved it down here so now I'm gonna clamp clamp so now this is nice and nestled into the into the um, heater the, the heater and I've got the cold water, and just as always, the cold water's got to start at the bottom and go out from the top. So I've got the cold water running, and now I'm going to just turn on the heater and let it um, start to boil. All right, so it's um, starting to boil. And you can start to see, it's really hard to see excuse me, you can start to see the vapors coming up here, <coughs> but it's not escaping because it's condensing back down, and so, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's it's boiling, and then it's dripping back into the flask right here. Let's see if I can get it from this point of view. You can see right here where it's dripping back into the solution. So we're going to let it reflux for about 45 minutes. So I'm actually going to stop this video um, and I'm going to start a new video when we get to the next part.